Yes. So, uh, students, in my previous video, I have explained you how to prepare haloalkanes from Lucas reagent, that is anhydrous acid in Cl2 with concentrated HCl. Now, let us solve one question which is based on Lucas reagent. Yes. Let us come back. As we know, in Lucas test, the most preferred product is tertiary alcohol. Then, least preferred or least formed or the compound not formed at room temperature is primary alkyl halide. So, let us see. Why do tertiary alcohols respond immediately to which reagent? To Lucas reagent compared to secondary and primary alcohols. That is what I have to write. Most important thing is, let me first mention. Now, let me write first tertiary alcohol. So, our tertiary alcohol is carbon with this CH3, <coughs> CH3 and CH3. This is your tertiary alcohol. Just see. This particular carbon which is there in tertiary alcohols compared to secondary and primary. I am concentrating on this carbon. I am basically concentrating on this carbon. This carbon which is there, when I compare between this carbon and this oxygen here in tertiary alcohol, tertiary alcohol, the carbon atom, please be very keen in understanding, the carbon atom in tertiary alcohol is more electron releasing compared to oxygen most compared to oxygen electron compared to oxygen and I am comparing this carbon with secondary carbon atom and primary also. The carbon in tertiary is more electron it tries to release the electrons to this particular thing so that I will show you the mechanism so that further that replacement of HCl or HCl happens and the oxygen here whatever oxygen is here so I am writing one carbon so let me write carbon is more electron releasing compared to I am comparing with carbon compared to <coughs> carbon atom in primary and secondary remember that it is more electron releasing yes because alkyl group electron releasing now next comes I'm talking about this oxygen now the oxygen in oxygen atom in tertiary is or tertiary alcohol is more basic these two are very important terms more basic than in primary and secondary please note i am writing two important things this is more electron releasing this is more basic compared to primary and secondary that is one concept now what actually is happening in inside that particular tertiary alcohol when you add hcl and anhydrous acetyl that is lucas reagent let me write the mechanism just see observe it carefully your tertiary alcohol will follow a mechanism called sn1 mechanism sn1 mechanism substitution nucleophilic unimolecular reaction sn1 mechanism substitution nucleophilic unimolecular reaction or unimolecular mechanism all right there's only one rate or it only one molecule participates and the rate determining step is the slowest step let us see so is this is going to follow sn1 mechanism this tertiary alcohol how is it going to form now i'm going to take my tertiary alcohol the same thing i'm going to show you the sn1 mechanism which is happening so you take your oh <coughs> you take your ch3 you take your ch3 and you take your ch3 here done so what what am i adding i'm trying to add your hcl along with anhydrous zncl3 so i'm going to add hcl in the presence of anhydrous zncl2 that is your lucas reagent so i said carbon is more electron negative uh, the carbon is more electron releasing and this oxygen is more basic yes in the first step just see h plus and cl minus this h comes in attacks this what do i get now c let, let me write like this ch3 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 and o plus h2 yes because this a part of the bond has been shared with this hydrogen so i get oh2 so what's going to happen now this is done 
this OH2, now to this particular OH2, your Cl is still attacking because I have to prepare halo alkane. Yeah, this Cl, whatever is there, the H has already gone. This part is over. Now I have to utilize this Cl to this. So this Cl minus will go and attack this particular carbon. But before the Cl minus, what happens? There is a cleavage in this bond and your water molecule comes out. So water molecule has come out. As we have done water molecule uh, removal of water, what is left now? C, your <coughs> CH3 is here, CH3 is here, this CH3 is here. Yeah, this is the most important thing. Tertiary carbocation formation. This tertiary carbocation formation, the most stable carbocation. I keep saying tertiary, more stable than secondary, more stable than primary. So, this is your tertiary carbocation. <coughs> most stable yes that's formed now to this tertiary carbocation this is your state now this is your slowest step or rate determining step now i'm going to pick up this tertiary carbocation let me write this as first roman number i'm going to write this as second roman number let me pick up that tertiary carbocation yes one ch3 ch3 your CH3. Now Cl minus has come in attack. I'm writing just this step again. Cl minus comes in attacks. What is happening? This is your tertiary carbocation. This Cl minus comes in attacks this. So what do I get now? C, Cl, <coughs> CH3, CH3 and CH3. Chloro. Yes. So chloroalkane is formed. I'm prepared. So what do we do? This is the reason because there is a formation of tertiary carbocation. Lucas test. The response of tertiary alcohol to Lucas test is immediate or quick or for while checking because of the formation of tertiary carbocation. So whenever this question is asked to you, you're going to explain these two reasons and then write the mechanism and show because of the formation of stable tertiary carbocation the reaction is faster thank you for watching